Now I tuned in to something super tight Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what he do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano. I want to thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV. We're back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack. Just like that. Hope it feel good to you, too, because it damn sure feel good to me. I got my, oh, she ain't here today. Ah, y'all thought I go, man, y'all, 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 uh, you know, we, we doing an off day today. I got to get my brother in the room and, uh, get him at the wood table and chop it up with him. So, you know, Jeff. Jazzy K couldn't be here today, but this this brother here, I've been knowing him since the late nineties. Yes, sir. It's been a minute, so that's like twenty. What the twenty I'm, plus? Twenty plus years, yes, man. Sir. Absolutely. Shit, man. The man used to uh, infiltrate my city. Yeah, man. At in a good way. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And he was uh, networking with my, my my cousin Money Waters. Yes, indeed. And, and yeah, my man. When when Money see this, he gonna lose his shit. He gonna go crazy. You he know. gonna lose his shit. <laughs> but say, man, yeah, I got man. Young Bleed in the house. Oh yeah. Hey, straight out that br. Yeah, sir. Straight out that boo. Hey, man, tell the truth. Mm. How you doing, bro? Oh man, I can't be no better, man. You looking good, got your fresh, fresh line. Yeah, fresh face. Shout out to Mule back home, man. My, my neighborhood barber. You know what I mean? One of my mama, you know, my homeboys for a long time. But man, he real sharp with that pen, man. Damn. <laughs> I see, you know, I ain't had to have no haircut in a long time. Look. I see these boys putting uh flames on niggas' hair and yeah. all kind of guns. Look, my, but he got you looking crispy. Oh, uh, he, he, they call you know, they say, man, that's that Steve Harvey, man. You know, <laughs> I said, look, you went from the tone to Curtis, Curtis to the Bleezy, man. You know, oh, yeah. Up, some new shit. Yeah, tell so, Mr. Yeah. Bleezy. Yeah, sir, this the Bleezy right here, man. Get you one, man. Tell you know, that nigga to quit talking about this Steve Harvey. It's the Bleezy <laughs> face. Bleezy, man. Come on, man. Already, man. Yeah, that part. You been good, though? Uh, beautiful, man. Bless my big brother. Family good? Oh, uh, man. Everything is I'm everything. Gonna you stay where you are. I'm going to okay. sit there a little bit closer. Yes, sir. Already. Everything is everything, man, you know. And uh, I want to, you know, we, my wife normally has a protocol where she goes mm-hmm. all the way back. We want to go down through there so the family members can yeah. know Young Bleed. Memory you know, Lane, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Minute Riverton, man. Yeah. Back down Memory Lane. Back Let's down go. Memory Lane. Talk to him. Mm-hmm. That part. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, tell the folks where you're from. Uh, born and raised, man, the bottom of South Baton Rouge, BR, Garfield Street, a corner turn, man. Shouts out to Carlos Tucker, G Block. G Street, man, you know what I mean? So all the way from the bottom on up, man. Already. Yeah. So Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, sir. And uh Um Tell the people about your your your, your family life. Was it, you know, was it two how ho- two parent household, siblings, that type of thing? Um, in the beginning. Okay. Now, I'm from the broken home syndrome, you know what I'm saying? Already. A lot of us are. Yeah, my mom and pops, my my daddy, you know, probably was together the first. Maybe 11 years of marriage. I'm first born. Yes. My mother had two kids. You know, uh, my mother, it's a significant thing about my mother and my pop and my evolution. <clears throat> I'm a 74 baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, the day I was born, my mother had to, uh, what's the word I could use? Well, you know, I'm going to say it like this. The doctors approached her on this note and my papa and it's like she had a complicated pregnancy with me. Okay. Um, we hear Pac say, man, I had three seconds of um, peace. Then it was on ever since. Mm. I ain't had that three seconds. Rest in peace to Pac, man. He said, I got Pac on my shirt. This yes. Gemini season, y'all. Seven really. one, baby. <laughs> 74, pound of blood, man. Yeah, pound of blood. But saying that to say this, my mother had the choice of living or dying, me being her firstborn. Mm. When I was in the embryo, she read me Dr. Seuss. I had an uncle, you know what I mean? Um, Warren Johnson um, from South Baton Rouge, only until he lived in Florida more day now. Yeah, yeah. But he played all the African eccentric instru- instruments, in particular the drums, you know what I mean? Yeah. Congos and bongos. He don't play nothing plugged up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so while I was inside, she reading me this Dr. Seuss thing. My uncle playing the drums, and she couldn't stand it because I could hear it from the inside. She said, I'd be flipping on her stump and running her nuts. And she couldn't stand him playing the drums. Yeah. 
So when they say rap is rhythm and poetry, yeah. I tell them this, we celebrating the 50 years of hip hop, y'all. Yes, sir. I just left Jackson, Mississippi a couple of years ago and reunited with Dougie Fresh. Mm. We go back to the Bronx in the beginning of what this is. But saying this about my mother, <clears throat> and shots out to Asiatic Black out there, you know, Bull Rock scene and we reconnected. Oh, really? Yeah, so it was a beautiful kamikaze found the fact. But my mother had this proposition. You could live, we could save you, or we could save your child. Mm. My mother was 17 years old. And she said, you know what? I lived enough life. I just turned 49 June 6th. So when I look back and I, my mother, oh man, remarkable life oh, story. Yeah. One of the greatest, my God, is on the planet. Mm -hmm. And she said, look, I lived enough life. I take my death, let my baby live. My mother's still here, y'all. She'll be 67 years old next month. Amen, amen. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, like losing your mama, man. Hey, Hold you, on to her, baby. You get one of them and one daddy, man. So when we talk about that, I grew with my mom and my daddy. In a certain time in life, I had a broken home syndrome. Yes. Yeah, my name, Paul, know what it is. My name was Total Darkness for a while. I still wear black loaks and khakis and yeah, <laughs> beanies and all that type of thing. And I'm a light-skinned brother. Yeah. But in a dark world, when you missing your papa, yeah. a lot of us as sons miss our papa. Yes. And mother could only do so much. So I shouts out to my step-papa. Yeah. There's a man from the night war in New Orleans. Okay. So my dad and my papa and my mother still here. So far as my grading in the game, you know, I go back to mama making that choice. Papa was like, hey man, look, save my wife, man, God damn it, I'll make another baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My mama laid down for me when I come here, so I ain't get that three minutes of peace. And mama said, yeah. mama said, no, 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 let's have it. He said, look, bring my baby up in here, man, yeah. And took it across the head, so from that, yeah, my life sacrifice. That's your, that's your love, right and there. And what I became for us, hip hop and R.A.P. on my mom and yes. my uncle. I'm born this way. That's real. Yeah, I'm a year less. I'm born in '74. Hip hop since '73. So that part. Oh, you raised up in it. Yeah, I was born in it. Huh. Baby oh yeah, yeah, you said born in it. Yes, sir. So, uh, your other sibling is that? Um, no. that's your little brother or little sister? Um. My, my brother really actually from the concentration camp originally, Lucky Knuckles, for everybody to know Lucky Knuckles, you know. I mentioned him in a lot of raps he on all my records, concentration camp into the Cardion family. My right hand man, you know, with the, with the whole, like, y'all know what I mean? You know, Uncle P's in the building, man, so we, we stitch, man, long thread, man. Yeah. So look. Yes, yeah, my boy Uncle Polly, baby. Yeah, yeah, big brother, man. Big brother, lit brother, man. Long ways all day. Me and him since Little League, man. Yeah. <laughs> so Little League, baseball shit, you know. I'm born on Garfield Street. Yeah. There's murder blocks. He's where we, we, yeah, like anywhere else. Ain't no black and rice in here. But I'm born on Garfield Street, Paul on the street before me, Grant Street. Okay. We went to different elementary school, but we played for the same elementary. Um, Little League. Little League. I read it. So since, since a baby with him and his whole family, rest in peace to his mother. I read it. And his papa. So we stitch mine since baby, man. Yeah. So his mic, turn him up a little bit. This is Mike right here. Yeah. That's cool. Yes, sir. So um, what high school did y'all did go to out there? We want to get props to the high school. Definitely, man. Uh, I went to two different high schools. Late in life, I said I was raised up two times. Um, with Guardia Lane being a bridge. <clears throat> My mother, in an effort um, of giving us a better life after the break apart with my papa. Yeah. She tried to, uh, my step papa come along, and what they did was aim at a better situation from the gutter, but beautiful gutter that we come from. Yeah. So Guardia Lane was a place, you go to Guardia Lane right now, it's, it's Mexico City. It was Compton first, and <laughs> that part, you yeah. know, over time. But at the time, my brothers would tell you, y'all remember when it was just the LSU bus went through that number but white folks, LSU stupid. It was made <laughs> to be that, you know, the, you know, different kind of like midlife. Me and my pop say this all the time now. It used to be uh, three levels to life. Rich, middle class, and poor. That was the aim toward the middle class. But now, as you know what I'm saying, That's real. it's just like Compton. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that part so on. Um, it changed. How, how, how long do you think it took it to change like that? In them 80s, man. The 80s took it on. I'm, I'm a 70s baby, so we come from that whole Reaganomics crack. Up, you know what I mean? I, we grew into that evolution where we remember a time of Fat Albert, Charlie Brown, the cartoon, and just to, to be here to watch the world change. 
yeah. in a fast time. So I say I grew up twice. I'm from South Baton Rouge to the east side of Mayfair. Shouts out to the whole Mayfair, east side and the north. And we used to have to fight about that. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So about 11 years old, 85, you know, I'm in the east side. <clears throat> So, you know, uh, in that sense of the word, you know, it gave me that kind of balance for the city and throughout, and I got family everywhere in the city. So, you know, from the bottom and the top of my neighborhood, it break down, we say this here versus the crip and the blood thing without the rag, and then that didn't trickle down, and they've been rooted. We were just riding, talking about that. But um, we it's more like hood man. We all black people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Black, and we had white folks in our neighborhood, Italians, you, you name it, but, you know who from your neighborhood, the way he walk, talk, wear his shirt, you see what I'm saying? Without the rag, we knew the Park Town, we knew Glen Oaks, you know what I mean? Yeah. All that was like that. But Guardia Lane, they call G Lane now, murder block, body for body every Damn. day. I remember when we was egging houses and throwing rocks <laughs> as kids. Now they shooting Before it up. Now they shooting it up. With, so, all, with, with assault rifles. Right. So now, like I say, my pops used to say, hey, man, you know, it's three levels of life. Rich, middle class, and poor. He said, nah, it ain't even a middle class no more. You're rich or you're poor, man. That's real. Yeah, so, you know, back to them roots, that part. It's your girl, Jazzy K, with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo, from the front seat, not no photos. 